Alright, if you guys have been keeping up with my videos, then you'll know today I am going to paint the basement. We started off with a bunch of shelves on these walls. We got those down. And we had a lot of wood on the ground. We got that out of here. And there was a stove here that was really heavy to carry out. We got it grinded up and out. And then after that transformation, it was still really dusty and musty and dirty in this basement. So we power washed everything. And with the help of this machine, things got dry pretty quickly in here. Overall, after going from this to this, it's time to start painting. So, vamanos. Okay, it looks like I got everything that I need to start painting, but I have to figure out how to open this thing. In the past, I've always had Cole around. He was always my designated paint can opener, but he's not around here, so I gotta figure it out. Let's see what I can find to open this thing. All right, so I got these tools. I don't know if we can do it, but I sure am gonna try. Not really sure if I'm doing this right, but hey, I'm getting somewhere. That actually wasn't too bad. It's a lot easier than it looks. And now I gotta find a painting stick. This is perfect. It is such a relief to see that there's actually bright white in this can. I've never seen paint where it has like a clearish, gooey substance at the top of it. I was kind of worried there for a second, thinking this wasn't bright white, but there is definitely bright white in there. I just gotta mix it up. Honestly, I'm kind of confused because I've been mixing for a while and this is not mixing. And maybe I'm doing it wrong. You know, like in Menards, they have that little section where they mix up the paint for you. You would think that. If I needed to mix it, he would say, I'll mix this up for you, but he didn't. So I'm kind of confused. I'm hoping that I wasn't supposed to mix this up at the store. The way it looks so far, I think you had to. We'll keep trying. No, I don't want paint on the ground. Man, I always forget the rag. I'll be right back. There you go, better. This is nothing like baking. <laughs> I've probably been mixing for about 10 minutes now and <coughs> paint cubes. Probably been mixing for about 10 minutes now and it's nowhere near done in my opinion. I'll just keep at it. We're finally done mixing. So let's get to painting. Ah, I just pinched myself. That hurts. Be careful when you're putting your roller together. Okay, I think we're all ready to start painting, but one thing that I did forget was a painting floor mat or something to put on the ground so that we don't get paint on the floor. In one of my previous videos, one of you guys suggested that I use this curtain that I found as a painting mat. So instead of throwing it away, I thought, you know what? That's a genius idea. So we're using it. This is so funny. Oh my gosh. <laughs> guys, it has like a transparent face to it so you could <laughs> Put your face. What? I've officially gone through one whole gallon of paint. We have like a rough start on the walls here. It obviously needs a second coat and possibly a third coat. I'm gonna have to take a brush and get paint in all these rough areas. But I've realized I'm definitely gonna need a lot more paint. So Summer actually called me a few minutes ago and she let me know that she's on her way to Menards. So I said, why don't you pick me up? Cause I'm gonna need some more paint. Two gallons is definitely not enough. You live and you learn. Summer, babe, off to town we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
You see these two sticks? This one is being held by good old tape. And this one is brand new. Yesterday when I went to Menards, I did pick up a new stick because the one I'm using is actually broken and it is a pain when you have to bend over and you're trying to get that paint on there, but you're trying not to break your stick because it's easily bending and possibly going to break on you. So it's nice that I got a new one. I can't wait to use that. And it's actually one of those fancy sticks that extend. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty spoiled, you guys. And I also picked up two more gallons of paint. I'm really hoping that that is enough paint, but I might have to pick up some more gallons. Who knows? There's still a lot of painting left to do in this room. Hopefully four gallons is enough. But if not, we'll just buy more. This room has actually been taking quite some time. These walls are really old. They're pretty cracked. Lots of rough areas, kind of like this one. Every single time you're going around and you have all of these cracks on the wall, you gotta really get in there with your paintbrush or else it's not gonna look good. So it takes quite a bit of time. Because I want this to look good, I'm gonna take my sweet time to get everything nice and clean. Right now, it's kind of hard to envision what it's gonna look like just because I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm kind of nervous because it doesn't it look the best. It's very patchy in areas. Looking at it in person, I'm like, oh, I really hope this looks good in the end. But we're just gonna keep working. It's gonna take time, but it's gonna be worth it. And hopefully in the end, it looks good. Painting that basement is taking forever. I knew it was going to just because the walls are pretty dry down there. It's a pretty big room. It's gonna take several coats of paint. But for right now, I'm gonna have to put it on a pause. My younger brother actually got in a motorcycle accident, unfortunately, last night. Cole and I are actually gonna drive over to see how he's doing and visit with him for a little bit. It seems like he's doing a lot better. I know that he's scheduled for a surgery tomorrow, so hopefully all of that goes well. But I'll definitely be getting back to work as soon as I can. We'll see you guys in the next one.